morning so welcome back to the no dig plot and this is the end, last day of july which is the 31st today um, so we're going to do an allotment review so the first place we're going to start with is in the greenhouse so if we just have a, a look inside here i'm really pleased with the way all the tomatoes and everything's growing in here the uh, peppers are a little bit behind but we were behind to start with with the tomatoes we lost a lot in april but we started harvesting these um two weeks ago and we've taken 12 pounds off the tomatoes already and there's a lot of people on this site telling me um our tomatoes just aren't turning red but this side we've got the the plum tomatoes we've got um beef eater and We've also got nice black Russian tomatoes just over here. Those are the black Russians and they're just starting to ripen up. There's a couple of weeds at the back which I'm going to have to take out. Um, but these are Alicante tomatoes which I've grown for years and they're coming really, really well. I've got um, two melon plants. So this is an Ogun plant. And we've already got fruits starting on them already. Mm -hmm. So put that one back. And then I've got one plant of honeydew, which is here. And this one is just starting to produce a, a, a fruit there. Mm. Never grown these before, um, but it's going to be interesting to see how they go. So this is the July review and we'll do a review every every month now just to see how things are going and what we're actually going to do and as we move further forward i'll be doing the um letting people know what we're going to do in the future so if we just pop out and we'll... oh, sorry <laughs> that's that it. me at the carrot at the greenhouse so then we move to the runner beans which um these are doing really really well we've got our annual flower show next week flower and vegetable show on the allotment site so i might be going in for the longest bean for one which is that one there whether you can see that but then there's also a lot of other beans we've actually taken 12 pounds of runner beans which are all in the freezer now so far in the last three weeks this is these are really really doing well and on these this no dig um plot that we've got the beans are the only thing that i've been feeding and that's with fermented plant juice made from nettles which we'll be doing a video showing you how to make that which is a foliage spray but we'll go into that on another on another video majority of the crops now are second crops um, we've just put more salads in on this one here. So I've got spinach gone in there. This is Lolo Rosso. I've got some more rockets going in, gone in. And I've got some um, cos lettuce and some salad bowl. But what we've, what we've also done, I've intersown broccoli. And these were only sown a month ago, uh, planted a month ago. They were sown in, at home in the greenhouse and brought on. And then we planted them into here. So I've interplanted these because these will last longer than the salads. But over on this side, this is where we had um, peas all along here and broad beans. We've taken those out and I've been given some um, butternut squash. So I've got four butternut squashes in there now. Is it? A nice flower head on that one so there'll be a fruit on that one and these have only been in three weeks I was given these from a friend and when I took the rest of the peas out from here um, a month ago I put sprouts in which are all second everything on here is a second crop apart from the um, parsnips so these are all second crops and these have only been in the ground five weeks but they're already starting to produce little sprouts on the sides so they'll be nice for Christmas Day. I like to utilise every little bit of space that we've got on the allotment. So as an experiment, what I've also done, I've planted some in between 
some sprouts in between the parsnips. We'll see how that goes and also again as an experiment I've also planted a row of parsnips in between the beans. Can you see? They're all in between. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all in between the beans because the beans will be out before the parsnips. So they'll just keep going and then we've got nice parsnips for Christmas. So if we just move back, mind the brick behind you, Jim. <laughs> so here, for the spring, um, in March, we planted primo cabbage in this little area here and we put four to a row. And then when we started harvesting, we started harvesting one, leaving one in and taking one out and then vice versa because five weeks ago we started into planting um, savoy cabbage which is this so we've eaten all the primo now and the savoy cabbages are coming they're growing really well and they've only been in the ground five weeks here we had cauliflower as the first crop and we did exactly the same with the red cabbage interplanted in between the cauliflower plants and there again these have been all of these have been in just five weeks while we've been eating everything else so we've taken all of the cauliflowers out and they're all in the freezer now because they came at once we blanched them put them in the freezer and this side was all the broccoli so our freezer now is getting really really full and we can't put things like well the ice cream's got to come out for one so i'm going to be eating more ice cream soon <laughs> so we've interplanted romanesco broccoli this time so this will be nice for all over the Christmas and into New Year. On the salad bed on here we've interplanted broccoli which I think we've we've already gone over that this morning but we've got salad onions as well we've got beetroot down there which is going to be coming out and I'll just go around that side and go, go through So we've got the beetroot here, which is coming on nicely, and all of these beetroots have been multi-sown. So what we do, we just take the biggest one out and take it away and let the others continue to grow. And we've got some really nice sized beetroots coming on these. These are my shallots. These are zebru shallots. Now I made a mistake because we wanted shallots to be able to do some pickled onions, but these are for cooking. So being on the allotment a lot of people are going we're going to be swapping I'm having some often friends that have got pickled onions and they're going to have some of the, the cooking shallots so then we move on to the carrots we put carrots in between onions and garlic the garlic has done nothing this year but then I'm going to put some more in at the back end because I only put this in in March but it, it's done nothing but this is resistor fly carrots as an experiment to see what they're like we do keep a net over the top to see um, to keep the carrot fly off but there's some really nice ones there I think I'm going to harvest that one and we'll have some carrots for lunch tomorrow so let's just see what these are like they need that so we'll have a look at that wow well, you can't grumble with that one, can you? No. Look at him. Um, well, that's one for me for tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see if you can find yours. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll, I'll find you another one. Here we are. Let's see what this is like. No. Nope. You've just had the biggest one, haven't you? No? No. Oh, there's some more coming here. There's more coming here. Maybe not quite as big, but I don't want to break them. Oh, look at that one. Oh. <laughs> you never know oh, what you're sorry. going to get, do you? Yeah, no. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. No. But that, that one looks like it was the biggest one on here. What? Oh, it's broke. A little bit of a help. 
There you go. Oh, that's not bad. There's one for you. Wow. One for Rocky. <laughs> the dog. He loves carrots. When we're peeling veg, he loves them, doesn't he? Mm, he does. Well, we'll take them home and we'll have them for dinner tomorrow. Yeah. Lovely. It'll be nice. Lovely. Yeah, we'll come back to them in a bit. What we'll do though, because this is, uh, we're doing like a three year experiment uh, to see how things are growing over the next three years. So we're weighing everything that comes off. So at the end of the month, we know exactly what we've got. At the end of the year, we know how much we've taken. And then next year, when we put the, the compost on with the back end and we replant again everything next year, we start it all over again and we can see the difference whether it's getting better crops or less crops or whatever. So we're going to do a three year plan for that. But these carrots, um, I did have garlic in between, but they didn't do anything at all, so they've gone. But these carrots are Chardonnay carrots. And you can just see these there. I'm not going to pull those because we shall harvest some for the flower and vegetable show next week. And we'll see what uh, see what's available that's any good for, for going in for that. So they're quite nice actually. Well, I'm pleased with them. Yeah, doing very really well. I'm pleased with them. I'm really yeah. clever about that, but there you go. Yeah, yeah. So we'll move over to this side here. These are Desiree potatoes, which are main crop. Um, these will, will be coming out very shortly because I've got more primo cabbage shooting at home that are about this size now. They will be going in here for over winter, so they'll be ready then come January we can start eating those with all the other crops. What we're trying to do is to eat as much um, seasonal vegetables as possible and for those that won't grow during the winter like the runner beans um, and that sort of thing we put in the freezer and we'll use those. We had alderman peas here um, and we've got four kilos of these which are in in the freezer. This is the only part of the allotment that isn't no dig. Um, I've got some cardboard that cardboard's not any good so that's gonna have to be thrown away because that won't decompose but with Jeanette taking on the plot next to me there all of these fruit trees and all the fruit bushes are going to come out of here and go into Jeanette's because Jeanette's going to grow all the fruit and cut flowers so all of this then will be made continued on with another no dig bed so we might have put onions in around November time or broad beans or something like that but I will be extending the peas from here all the way along this side here so we'll have a nice long row of peas and then either onions or broad beans will be behind but I've got to put the cardboard down do it properly with this compost on top and then plant into it then the whole of this allotment then it's only 100 square meters but the whole of this allotment will be uh, completely no dig um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put anything in, in here. We've only just taken the uh, alderman peas out of here. Um, I've still got canes to take out and these posts to take out. I'm not sure whether we'll put anything else onto this one just yet. Um, we'll take that as it comes. But as I say, we've got the Desiree potatoes here. They'll be coming out. It'll be interesting to see what the Desiree are like. The Charlotte, Charlotte potatoes we took out there. We had a really good crop off those and that was in the last video so you can see how we took those out and we'll do the same again when we're taking these out. I, as soon as we took the Charlotte potatoes out we put the leeks in so you can see now how, how these have grown in just a couple of weeks since we put the, um, the leeks in and these are multi sown So I'm pleased with these, these are doing really well. They're doing nicely and as these start getting bigger we like to eat um, leeks that are nice and juicy and tender. Um, we do like the big ones but there's only the two of us so we don't need them to be really massive. But for those that like really long white stalks 
then multi sewing it wouldn't be for you you'd have to sew them individually you still get white stalks on them and stems um, but not as much as doing it um, individually but I've got 250 roughly 250 leeks in this area here because we put five to a cell when we plant them in so as they're growing we just pull them out and eat them the same as we do with the salad onions and the shallots I did the shallots exactly the same as four there because I, I grow those from seed not from um, little bulbs so yeah I'm, I'm quite happy I'm, I'm really really happy with everything that's coming off on this uh, we started harvesting the spring things uh, from January sorry not from January we sowed in February mid-February planted out mid-March with all the crops on here everybody was saying to us it's always far too early to put your stuff in it'll all die off but we haven't lost a single plant even though all the frosts were really hard we lost tomatoes because in the greenhouse it went down to minus six one night but um, so far this month in, in weight um, total weight for this month is 84 pounds that we've taken off and that's just from the 1st of July to yesterday plus the carrots that I've just pulled up but so far for the year it's 163 pounds in weight that we've harvested off this plot and what I'd like to do is next year when we come to July compare what we had last year to compare you know next year for this year and so on um, as I say it's going to be for like a three three year plan to see how it goes but there's so many people on this site now that are interested in doing the no dig um, I've also put more carrots in here um, they're not anywhere near ready yet as, as they are on the, on the top end but we'll eat those first and then come back to these later but saying that showed you in the last video that Jeanette took the plot on right next to us and we've been working really hard on that well Jeanette has um, it's all had to be turned well not turned over fully it's been forked over we've took a lot of stuff out and we've leveled it out the only reason we've had to turn it is because we couldn't level it out without softening everything up so that's all softened up now we've started putting compost, uh, cardboard down on, on there we've had a load more cardboard brought in today um, if you just on the side there and then we'll uh, we'll get that down we'll start getting the compost on and making the bin uh, making the beds up but if anybody um, if anybody's interested in, in what we're doing you know just put in the comments below and then we can go through th through things or even make a video to show how how to do it um, but if you like that if you like what you see give us a thumbs up subscribe and press the notification button so you know exactly when the next video is coming and what we plan to do is make one possibly two videos a week moving forward so until next time bye